Okay. Oh, actually, I'm, I'm so sorry. Uh, the lady back in the back. Thank you. So, um, thank you for the opportunity to ask this question. And the question relates to the NRC's ability to assess for significant conditions. Um, much of the information contained within NRC inspection reports originates within a station's corrective action program and um, specifically root cause reports. And uh, that's a correct statement. Is that correct? Um, I would have a hard time agreeing with that because there's a, a significant amount of information uh, that the NRC obtains uh, independent of um, reviewing a licensee's yes, corrective yes, action agreeable. program. So I, I want to make that point uh, yes, abundantly clear. Um, so I write your cause reports and frequently in reviewing the NRC inspection reports, it's verbatim. Pass the light test to what I put in the report. It's a source of information from the entire team. Okay. And, and it's also entered into the station's corrective action program. Okay. But in relationship to your ability to assess risk significant conditions, um, if those root cause reports do not accurately report the information, mm -hmm. or the information is not accurately reported in the station's corrective action program, mm -hmm. does that affect your risk analysis? And how could it impact um, the NRC's ability to do their job. Okay, so a, a couple of thoughts. Thank you for, for your questions. Um, just to reiterate, um, one of the reasons that uh, Congress created the NRC uh, in 1974 was for NRC to independently assess safety. And we would not be fulfilling our mission if we simply took uh, what uh, individuals like yourself, capable trained, dedicated, focused on safety, we, we took that and based our independent judgments on it. We have to obtain separate information, independent information to do that. So let me just reiterate that. Now, while it may seem counterintuitive, the license that TVA received to operate the three Browns Ferry unit asserts that TVA has a primary responsibility for safety. And the people at TBA have the primary responsibility for safety. So that means you and others, your colleagues, have the primary responsibility for assuring the accuracy of the corrective action program documents that you create. Right. Now, NRC independently assesses what you've done. We, we are out there, we have residents uh, at the plant, and they're as, as knowledgeable of events uh, that occur at the plant, or they try to be in doing their best to uh, independently uh, maintain awareness of, of what's going on and they get information independently as well. Um, so are we always perfect in our independent evaluation? No, but we, but we do the best we can. Uh, but there is, a, there is a mutual responsibility for the safety of Dallas Ferry. It's primarily uh, TBAs and of course NRC assures that. Uh, and certainly the effectiveness of the corrective action program is one important feature. Would a, attempts to modify report findings for the sake of production bias be of concern to the NRC? If um, that was intentional? Would you find that concerning? Of, of course. Of course. And so what type Would, Wouldn't you? Yes. Okay. Yes. Very yeah. much so. Yeah, and I think the people, everyone who, who works at TVA and those uh, in the community would also be concerned about that. Yeah. All right, that answers my question. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome.